morning everyone and welcome to my youtube channel oh my god i'm actually so excited to have this channel out i've been thinking about it for a very long time years to be specific there's so much that i want to show you in terms of the books that i've been reading things to do in vancouver or to eat i to start a business talking about relationships a lifestyle the good stuff so us getting to know each other is going to be so much fun this afternoon i'm actually speaking at an online event about female entrepreneurship i'm going to be one of the panelists we're going to be talking about impact community and get ready with me to prepare i start off my skincare routine with a vitamin c serum i actually just got this two days ago and i love it it is the CeraVe Vitamin C Serum. This actually absorbs into my skin so well, I can't even get over it. I kind of rub it into my hands like this. It's gone. Like, it's literally in my skin right now. Always moisturize my skin in the morning. I use the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors with Hyaluronic Acid in the morning. Once that settled, I always put sunscreen. This is the sunscreen that I use. It is a physical sunscreen, so literally the only ingredient is zinc oxide, and I've been using this for like three years. I notice a lot that my skin has changed ever since turning 26. I know it hasn't really been a long time since I've been 26. Ever since I took off my lash extensions, I've been loving and embracing the way that I look because I've been obsessed with lash extensions for like two years straight. I don't think I have had a break in a very long time, but the moment that I did take a break, I actually, my own skin and seeing my own lashes. Next thing that I use in my morning routine, and this is fairly new, I've only been using it for about two weeks, but it is the Ordinary Multipeptide Lash and Brow Serum. I actually only use this for my lashes because my lashes are super short but i've been using this twice a day um first thing in the morning last thing at night and it actually has made a difference for me it's only been two weeks i know you're supposed to see like drastic results within six to eight weeks but personally i love this and i have already seen the difference the last thing i do is i use my aquaphor lip protectant is literally it. The days that I do go out or have something going on where I need to make an appearance or take photos, I wear blush and I also wear something on my lips. I got this little Rare Beauty sampler from my friend Florence. This blush is in Joy and this highlighter is in Mesmerize. I love the youthful glowy look of blush and how it just makes your face like so warm. So I recently bought this actually a week ago. It's the Rare Beauty Highlighter in Reflect and I've heard amazing things about how this just bronzes up your face so naturally. Put like a tiny like two dollops on my cheeks and then I will just blend this out as well. Okay, now you can see that there's a more warm warm glow like it was just in the sun that i've been obsessed with is also the new rare beauty lip oil i have this shade in hope what i do appreciate about this formula is that it actually stains and it stays the whole day so even though it wasn't like a lip oil texture like the dior lip glow oil that one's like really sticky it doesn't last too long in my opinion especially if you're drinking and eating and talking with people um but i love that this one lasts all day because of the stain that's literally the look sometimes i'll wear mascara but i've honestly just been loving keeping my eyes just really light really clean i love just the emphasis on the skin and the dewiness and the glowiness an hour until we sign on onto the event. Organizers actually gave me a list of questions to expect, so we're gonna run through that, prepare for that now, quickly prepare for all the questions before in bullet point format, so I just know that I'm not blabbling on, you know, when it's my turn to speak at the panel. The questions include, how does your project impact the community and enterprise? How did God tell you about your purpose and your inspiration to start? 
How does entrepreneurship affect and impact society today? What would you say to encourage those listening to the webinar? The event just ended and I'm personally feeling really inspired. I always love seeing other women talk about their stories and their journeys and overall the challenges they had to overcome. I have a lot of thoughts about leading with a purpose and being rooted in purpose and I definitely want to touch more upon that. It's almost 4 p.m. and I am going to dinner tonight with a friend but I want to meal prep a little bit for the week. So let's cook some steak.